Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh. Right, I'm muted now. Warning. This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore and 15 minutes of delay. <laughs> yeah, apologies to anybody listening. Or viewing, I should say. Yes. It could, be, it, could be, it could be a ghost town. We could literally be simulating Raccoon City at this point. Mate, I don't know how how often it has to happen before I kind of get used to it, but I can never get used to t- turning OBS off one week, switching it on the next week, and it just not working at all. I need to ask you if you don't mind sharing the screen with me so I can see the board, or otherwise I'll have a slight delay. I'm going to do that right now. Um, uh, so you then, should have a uh, up-to-date view of our wonderful board. So a quick look. Oh, that looks promising. I can see everything. I've been painting some stuff. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to play Ada Wong because I painted her up. Right, so let's catch, let's catch everybody else up. So we are on scenario 4A. Now we have battled our way um, through the through the Raccoon City Police Department thus far. Yes. Um, and Claire and Leon are currently resting up. We're using some interesting uh, spin using the RE3 um, survival horror rules for the campaign characters. Yep. So Claire and Leon, who were quite injured after the last scenario, are currently resting. And now we are Ada and... Robert and uh, not Robert Kendo and Marvin Branner, who we rescued. Yeah, we rescued story. him. Let's have a quick look at Marv. So yeah, we saved Marv. So uh, not zombie version, normal version. Yeah, well actually, I think it's more like Marv saved us. He came looking for us, uh, which is kind of fun. <laughs> I think he did save us. I think he did. So, um, right. So, so uh, board, scenario right. brief four A. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, with any cool. with every passing moment, the RPD building becomes increasingly dangerous, and the odds of survival become ever more bleak. Only one chance remains, an escape route mentioned in an operations report from Marvin's office. Now begins the desperate hunt for a key to unlock the path ahead. So we've rescued Marv, and he's mm. basically told us about a uh, an escape route, And um, mm. but the wall, doors are all locked, so uh, we've got to pick our way through the RPD um, building and try and uh, use this escape route. Presumably that's out into the streets over here. It is indeed. Uh, no, actually, we've got to go into the sewers, Matt. So <gasps> there's a yeah. Da, da, one of us is one of us is actually going to start in the streets out there um, and see if they can fight their way through. So that's probably Ada, I guess, coming back to the scenario a little bit later on. And um, it makes more sense if I am Marv inside the police station, right? Okay. So where does Marv start? Let's have a quick look at the so, old uh, so, diagram. No worries. I'm going to have a quick look in the meantime in the chat while you're doing that. Um, so Nick wants to know, how do I get the free styles for Resident Evil, the board game? It says on Kickstarter, for those who support you get it for free. Uh, if you are a returning uh, Resident Evil 2 backer um, to the Resident Evil 3 Kickstarter, which is, of course, live now. I uh, imagine everybody watching knows this much. If you don't, excuse me, uh, we currently have Resident Evil 3, the board game, is currently live on Kickstarter. So uh, please do head over. There's a link in the description for the video. Um, but... If you are a returning RE2 backer, then you'll get a set of Raccoon City tiles for free. These are cosmetic upgrades to your tiles, which can be used in both RE2 and RE3, and give you a whole bunch of extra flavor and extra character um, to what your tiles are, sort of increase your immersion. And if you're not a returning Resident Evil 2 backer, don't worry, you can purchase them as an optional add-on as well. Cheap as chips, aren't they, if you uh, you have to purchase them? Yeah, we didn't want them to break the bank. Yeah, they're a um, they're a cool thing. Uh, it looks like my man Mike, who I actually played the demo through the other night, because um, ah. we obviously we have the 3D demo that's gone on our Kickstarter page. Um, I thought what I'd do is I'd jump in the chat and ask everybody if they wanted to have some games and nice. play some games with some people. And um, yeah, and uh, I met a nice guy called Mike, um, who I think is actually angling to become a playtester for me later on, which is kind of cool. That sounds cool. And yeah, it's a really nice guy. And um, he wants to know where Barry is. Um, do you know? We've kind of seen a hint that where's Barry? If we can defeat that spider in the uh, stretch goals, which I think is going to happen in the next few hours, I suspect, looking at the numbers, I think we might find a little bit more about where Barry is. A little bit more Barry. Yeah, look, we all need more Barry in our life, Matt. Well, Everyone needs more Barry. There's not a single morning where I don't wake up and the first thing I think of is I need more Barry in my life. Yeah, oh, wait, exactly. wait, Barry, not whiskey. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the other one is, uh, we've got a couple of questions. Uh, Vic also wants to know, uh, can I select it? Uh, so it looks like he said he supported both. Uh, so thank you very much for your continued support, Vic. Um, it says, can I select extra content later on like it was the RE2 board game? Absolutely. Um, so in the uh, Resident Evil 3 campaign, if you wanted to add some add-ons now and contribute towards the stretch goals, you absolutely can. You can hit the manage your pledge button. 
and then basically add in the extra value. If you wanted to wait until the pledge manager, you can do that as well. Um, so that's all good. Looks like Sharky's in the chat, our man Sharky. Good stuff. Um, uh, no, no stream is complete without Sharky. The, uh, the one thing that I do want to say about the stream is uh, I haven't worked out why my camera locks up every now and then. So if it does, do let us know and I'll quickly reboot. That's about yeah. the best I can do at the moment. Okay, seems good to me. Well, hopefully. Yeah, right, okay. So without further ado, do we... oh, sorry, you've got to work out where we all go. So Marv, Ada's in the right place. She's approaching from the street level. Yep. She's uh, joining us in the police department. Um, Marv, meanwhile, will be down Marv's here. Down here. Trying to he's, deal with his, his ex-colleagues who weren't as lucky as him. Yeah, he's basically said to like Cleon and Claire that they should stay in the West office and uh, chill for a little bit since they looked a bit beaten up. And Marv, yeah. who's uh, came to save them, is now going to investigate, see what's going on in the right. East Wing. Yeah, let's have a quick look at Marv's card just so uh, we know what's going on. Uh, so Yeah, so Marv's, Marv's kind of fun character. Do you want me to sort of talk you through it? Yeah, go on then, you talk us through it. Okay, so Marv's not quite as agile as the other characters we've seen. He's only got one evade dice, which isn't quite the best. Uh, he's got a standard amount of equipment. I can carry six items. He's got two special rules. Uh, one is called Steadfast. So when he suffers damage, I roll the encounter dice, uh, which I'll do at this end. Uh, after suffering a damage effect from the, after any suffering any other effects, if I roll a five or a six, then I ignore the damage because Marv's a tough cookie. That sounds good. Uh, that one is Noble Sacrifice. So in Resident Evil 2, the board game, and in Resident Evil 3, the board game, if a character dies, you automatically fail the scenario normally. It's completely cooperative. Marv has this fantastic rule called Noble Sacrifice, which means if he does die, then the game doesn't end in failure. Marvin is all about sacrificing himself for the good of the group. Good job, Marv. Yeah. And you're playing Marv. I'm playing Ada. Uh, so Ada's kind of fun. Ada's got two of Ada dice, uh, unlike Marv. Um, other thing about Ada, she's got a couple of special rules. Uh, she's got Reckless, which means at the end of any activation, including your own, you can just choose to jump the turn order. So for the purpose of the two-player game, you can have a double activation if you want. So if you desperately need to get to that typewriter to reset the tension deck, or you think, you know what, we're both in the same place, you need to escape, That's then cool. you can double activate, uh, which is kind of cool. The other one you've got, which would be very, very useful, is we're called Intrigue, which means once per scenario, when we draw a card from the tension deck, you can just go, you know what, discard it, won't resolve it, it's over, done. Beautiful. And I do have the uh, wire cord, first aid spray, handgun and bowgun. Of course, we've got an all a knife. You've got the shotgun grenade launcher combo um, and a handgun and, of course, your knife. Yeah, this is passed over to me by Claire. So thanks very much, Claire. And obviously Leon as well. So the objective of this is we're trying to get to the stairwell that leads into the basement. Uh, that one I, we can point out from on the map. But um, we're trying to, that has to send Which us through the one? east corridor. Uh, if you have a quick look on the map, uh, it'll point to the square that we're in. It's on marked with a star in the top, in the top corner. It's on the uh, main floor itself. So look to where the typewriter room is that we talked about earlier, where the club key is next to. Just here. So that is at that one there. Blink, 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 blink. That one there. Oh, hello. Yeah, I've got a slight, I've got a slight delay on the camera, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you point to the right square. So yeah, so we're going down there. That's a bit weird. Let me, um, uh, you should be seeing everything. Okay, all right. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see if I Obviously, there's some gremlins in the system today. Little monkeys. Yeah, causing our stream to be a little bit delayed. But anyway, that's what we're battling to get to. Now, that wire cord you have is going to be super useful because that can basically make the sa the corridor that that stairwell was in uh, ultra safe. It means we don't have to roll tension, uh, don't have to draw from the tension deck while we're in there. So I strongly recommend that we try to get in there and use that wire cord to bring the shutters down. Okay, all right. Cool. But I think we've brought us up and ready to go otherwise. Yeah. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go? Oh, let you go. Why don't you go? Okay, no worries. So I am going to move south by one square. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to open the door for two. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to assume everybody knows how to play the game by now, by the way. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go through for three and then I'm going to probably gasp at the sheer volume of zombies waiting for me. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'm going to celebrate the immediate fact of these all these zombies appearing by using. Do I grenade launcher already? I mean, that will kill some of those zombies. Let's grenade launcher it. So if you can drop my dial down by one. So we're dropping it down from six down to uh, five. five. Right. Uh, and the good news, there's no longer two zombies in that square in front of me. Boom. Yeah, that was a little bit excessive, perhaps, but a bit easier to deal with so that zombie is going to react and move towards me in the same room to you and then there's going to be a reaction phase and it's going to move once more 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, cool. We're all good. Uh, right, so attention deck, please. All clear. Excellent. Fresh air filling your nostrils. Yep. Okay, excellent. Over to you, my friend. Um, cool. I am going to... Um, I've got two dodge dice, haven't I? You have. Uh, I'm going to go one to here. Uh, I might... I might shoot him, I think. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot for two bullets for, for action two. Double shot. Old white front, white front zombie is done. <laughs> uh, so that was two, uh, three, four. Onto there. No reactions. Hit the tension card. All clear. How? Oh, God. This is no. Oh, no. We haven't got Claire here, so that's fine. Howl in the distance. Yeah, so uh, Claire from previous streams is really not a dog person. It's worth mentioning. So over to uh, you. So you got a zombie right in front of you. Right. So I'm gonna try and knife that zombie. Okay. So, so one dice. Move in for one. I uh, know. No. No. I can hit adjacent square. I'm gonna oh, see where hit I am. From there, are you? Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna roll a fail. So it's gonna come towards me. But that's right. okay. Uh, I'm then gonna fire two bullets from a handgun. Bang bang. Uh, which you're going to get a double push. So push him through that door and into the corner. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to shut the door. Okay. And then I'm going to move one step closer towards feeling kind of badass, to be honest. Well, after grenade launching a load of unsuspecting zombies and then shooting them at point blank range. Tough hide. Even after the undead have fallen, they remain. Their bodies unheeding all but the most harrowing of wounds. For one round, zombies which are killed by an attack are replaced by corpses. This... Is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, no, it's come about a turn too late <laughs> so, to make your serious effects. That's yeah. good. So uh, Ada's going to activate. I'm going to grab item A. Yep, okay. Uh, off the A deck. And that is... Oh, I don't need that. Uh, if you can hang on to it, though, that'd be super useful. I will do. Uh, I'm but you've got how many items? Five bullets, things. Yeah. Uh, so okay. that was one, two. Open the door for three... Oh, this one's stuck from where I was painting it. Okay. Uh, three. Uh, do I step in? Because that is an amber room. Uh, uh, a yellow room. Go on, be bold. Or you're going to be sensible. Um, going to spawn there, going to spawn there, aren't they, if anything bad happens? Yeah. Oh, come on, let's step in. Be oh, bold. It's not the wisest thing to do, because we've got... Oh, no, tough hide will be gone. So that's fine. I'm going to step in, and I'm going to... Uh, okay. Well done. Nice. Dice on a yellow room. What you got? Uh, a six. Yay! Oh, it's empty. Okay, oh, fortune it's... favors the brave. All right. Yeah, it just it's just got a burning car, like in uh, your story from last week. Yes. Uh, so my tension, because there's no more reactions. Oh, vigor mortis. Jaws snapping <laughs> and say, claws swiping the air. Your foes suddenly jolt forward, death glittering in their bloodshot eyes. Choose an enemy on the same tile as the active character to perform a special attack. The enemy must be there to attack the character. If there are no eligible zombies, spawn a zombie in the same square as the active character and resolve a basic attack. That's fine. I'll take that. I think uh, maybe I didn't shoot um, Y front zombie enough, and he's just, <laughs> just suddenly, come back. He's just suddenly come out at me. He's, he's come back for a hug. All right. Uh, so trying to make it evade. And I do with a little partial. Ah, uh, see, Claire doesn't care. Duck underneath. Uh, sorry, Claire. Well, Claire definitely doesn't care. She's resting up. Ada doesn't care either. Ada doesn't care. Nice work. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. Where are so, you going? Are you going in this room? Um, it's a difficult question. That one. Oh, I can go really into that sweet, hallway. Yeah, I can go into that one, or I can sort of venture up into Liquorville, and I think I probably want to do that. I'm going to make a beeline round for where the liquor lives. I think. Okay. Let's go. So let's one, go to two, the danger three, zone. Four. Yep. Pretty simple. Uh, no reactions. Uh, all clear. Your f well, your footsteps echo ominously over the ground before the sound is swallowed by shadows. You're on your own. Yeah. And that tension. Um, yeah, not so good. But at least the tough hide is now gone, which is cool. Yep, that's true. Right. Um, I'm going to whip out my knife and I'm going to stab this zombie for one. Wow. Uh, I'm going to shove him through the door. Yep. I'm going to shut the door for two. Nice Three, work. Three. Open this door. Uh, for four, and that is no reactions, all clear. Okay, I feel like a pro at the moment. It does, doesn't it? It feels so nice at the moment until yeah, you know, we have to worry about things like liquors dropping down from the ceiling and well, stuff. Yeah, there is that. 
So let's, because uh, we know that's in the deck now, so let's go one square and then open the door for two. Okay. Um... And I'm going to step into that very ominous sort of blood splattered corridor. Yeah, one. Uh, open the door for two, step in for three. And let's roll. Um, I'll tell you what, you might as well do the roll on camera. Let's see what okay. comes up. What colour room is this? This it's is a yellow room. Yellow. A four on yellow. One corpse. Which is an unsettling feeling. An extra card during the tension phase. Okay. So that corpse is going to go on the spawn point right in front of me. Uh-oh. And I have, a, I have a really bad feeling, apparently, which is not surprising, since I've just broke to the door and said a dead body. Oh, yeah, I've, got the one, I've got the corpse marker with a load of splattered blood on it. Oh, it's even worse. Uh, okay, well, in which case, let's. Uh, I've got one action left. I'm going to step into the same square as that corpse and, and let's see if it stands up. Fortune favours the brave. Well, I've got to go over it sooner or later, right? Do you want me to so roll it? Uh, yeah, go on. Let's do as much as possible on anything camera. Anything but an umbrella sign? Yeah, we're all good. Okay, so it's, yes. not, it's just looking at me at the moment. Eyes uh, unblinking. Maybe there's a fly kind of licking at the, uh, the fluid in the corner of the eye. Lovely. And now I need to um, draw two cards from Tension Deck because I'm really not feeling comfortable in this room full of bodies. Ooh. Oh, behind oh, you, you hear really the creak bad. of a door opening and closing again. Oh, the worst part about that is you know exactly what's just entered the room, don't you? Uh, the uh, liquor. Yeah, a little bit. That liquor's coming to see me. But now I know why it is those two bodies exist. Is it in there like that? Yeah, Const yeah. drops down in there. Yeah, don't forget he's there. Right, and then the other card is liquor's moved twice as fast. Oh no, apparently it's just wind <laughs> scratching across the empty streets. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. There is a new card that we have that means enemies move twice as fast. That would be truly terrifying with a liquor. Okay, right. Meanwhile, in uh, in Safetyville, uh, I'm going to move one, yep. two into here. Do I have to test when I enter? Yep, you have to because you ended your action in the same square as a corpse. you got to roll dice. Uh, no! Safetyville, he says. Dag nam it. Right, he's gonna I like get that bit, I like that bit about three minutes ago where we were both saying we're pretty pro, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> right, um I think I'm just gonna um flat it with me uh with me gat, as they say. Uh after you've done that you're gonna have to make oh no, there's no corpse anymore it's standing in front of you. Yeah, of exactly. I might as well just shoot Two bullets coming at you. Uh one wound coming back at me. <laughs> Matt, that's very unlike you to only use two bullets. Remember, you get to push the zombie. Yeah, okay. You, so... could, you could pick up that item. Um, so what have I done? I've moved in there for one. I've shot it for two. Yep. Uh, I'm going to try and shoot it again, I think, because I'd like it out the door at the very least. Yeah, I'm going to shoot it again for two bullets. I don't know if I subscribe to the two-bullet strategy or not. Well, oh, this time I do. <laughs> Double headshot, and then I'm going to pick the item up with my last action. Item deck A, handgun bullets, and I am now maxed out. I've got f six pieces of equipment, so I need to think carefully about what I'm going to do with stuff. Maybe you can start shooting the gun in the air a bit, maybe. Um, yeah, I think, so. I think so. Right, so uh, no reactions, all clear. Uh, fingernail scratching against glass pane. Uh, this wife front zombie man. He is not happy at being left no. outside. He's freezing. Right, meanwhile, yeah. in the corridor we like to call um, Liquor Door. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to move one to the north, and the liquor's going to scuttle into the uh, into the same square as its last victim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Then I'm going to move one up again uh, and find myself, uh, yep, literally there, and the liquor's going to come closer. Yeah. And then I have a shotgun, uh, which I'm going to aim at that liquor uh, for two dice. So drop that down once. And that liquor has now got a single wound on it. It's got two left. Awesome. Oh, I haven't got any wound markers. Hold on. No worries. Oh, I'll have a quick look at the chat in the meantime. Let's see what people come up with. Yeah. So let's have a look. We have... <laughs> what is this? There's a few Barry fans by the looks of things in the, uh, in the chat, which is lovely to see. Some people, big Marvin fans here. Uh, people thanking everybody for actually being able to hear me properly. So, uh, yeah, apologies for the technical yeah, we, difficulties. We worked the last out couple that you were, uh, you were horrendously compressed, weren't you? You were on, like, less than telephone dial-up bandwidth. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So uh, my brief my brief journey into 1998 audio uh, was both thematic but also quite annoying. Classic Sherwin. Yeah, exactly right. It's the hipster <laughs> way. So 
Uh, let's have a quick look. I mean, basically, at this point, everyone's just really discussing the awesome characters we've got in this game. So uh, that's pretty cool. Fair There's enough. question just now. Right. Well, uh, so that's you. Uh, so that look has now got a wound on him. Yep. And I have gone one. Uh, where did I go? One, two, three for the shot. Uh, yeah. What do we think? Another shotgun or a grenade launcher? I kind uh, of. Shotgun. That's grenade launcher. Uh, okay, I'll shotgun. So drop down the shotgun dial for another one and put another wound on the liquor. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, now it's reaction phase, and that liquor's going to try and hit me, so I've got to make an evade. Yep. Which I have done. Oh, sorry. One, one dice. Which I have failed. Um, so, uh, yep, but let's roll my dice first. Let's, oh, if no. you could roll the dice, Matt. Oh, yeah, no, I've done it the wrong way around. Yeah, so I take a damage, but let's roll dice, see what happens, because I might actually just not... I might ignore that, because I'm Marv on a 5+. plus. Come on, Marv. On the five plus in goal. Uh, yeah, I'll say, Zane, do you want to roll it for the uh, since you've got the dice there, or do you want me to do it? Oh, I'll do it for you if you want. I'm feeling lucky. Okay. Five or six. Yeah. I always roll one, so it's yeah. good for you. Yeah. Bob just doesn't care about the liquor whatsoever. <laughs> he takes it on the <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> okay. What a legend Marv is. What a ledge. Right. Um, so da, 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 that was uh, reactions, and then therefore we're on to tension cup. Oh no, mate! Tough hide. <laughs> um, yeah, tough hide. Tough, tough hide. Okay. Well, at least it only affects zombies. But my God, Marvin is not having the best of days. Not, not so much. Right. So uh, over onto Ada. So uh, one, uh, two, three, four. I think simple turn. No reactions. Mm. And a murder of crows. Somebody comes That's in through a test. broken piece of window. That's an evader off you. Oh no, that's you're outside. You are completely at their mercy right now. You're in the streets, remember? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so the crows come down. Um, I need a. I think I made it. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, you did. Normal evade. You're all good. Happy days. Right. Uh, meanwhile, back in the liquor door. Right. Let's. Um, I'm going to fire. Ugh. How many bullets do I have, Matt? Um, you have got three in the shotty, five in the grenade launcher, and fifteen in the handgun. Uh, I thought I put a couple of bullets into it, so I must have dropped down two. So I might have shot a zombie at the start. So I should be on 13, but I'm going to put me on 10 um, straight away. Okay. I don't remember you shooting with your handgun. I thought you... Um, I used I a you... knife to get a zombie close, and then no, I did the double tap to push it in there. Yeah, no, you used your um, grenade launcher. Yeah, there's three there. I grenade launched the uh, the guys in front of me. And then you knifed the other one those. into the room. You haven't, you haven't uh, used a gun. I know, no, remember, I knifed it so it moves closer to me, then double shot, and I shot it. I pushed it back to Ah, fair dues, fair dues. All yeah, right, so you're going to drop three bullets yep. into this one, eh? Yeah, and I've been rewarded by a push. So, hmm. Let's put that... Uh, I was trying to save using the shotgun, but I think I'm just going to have to use my last shotgun show on it. All right. In which case, uh, so if you can push him back one square, but um, I'm just going to then use the shotgun in my second action. Okay. And that is now a dead liquor. It's a bit of a waste. Fair enough. Look, it was worth it. Mm. And then I'm going to, uh, well, we'll see. Could I'm going to step. Worse. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. I'm going to step two forward now because I haven't got the key to open that door yet. One, Press two, X, doesn't do anything. Roll for, oh. um, roll for the. Corpse, you're fine with a two. Tension deck, you are all clear. Fresh end, fresh air. Okay, all good. All right. Meanwhile, out in the streets, I'm going to enter another yellow room. Uh, I'm going to open the door mm. for one. Okay, we're in the power room now. Yeah, uh, I'm going to step inside for two. I'm going to roll my dice to see what's in. Oh, not good things. Uh, roll on the amber table. Oh no, sorry, no, it's a lie. Draw two cards from the intention deck. Okay. I was about to ask how the tension deck is all doing. clear, flickering light above dispels the calm all for a second. Echoes of the darkness, movement and sounds haunt your steps, foreboding darkness, hiding what horror might lurk within. Uh, within. Uh, place an Echoes in the Darkness uh, token on the tile occupied by the next character to activate. Oh, I haven't got one of those tokens out. So basically, if I'm still on the same tile at the end of my next turn, uh, I am going to have to draw three cards from the tension deck. Now, I was going to ask you, actually, how our tension deck is faring. Uh, What's our tension deck management look like? Because I'm aware got, that we've had we've a few got extra draws. quite a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. 7, 8, 9, 10. Probably about 22, 24 cards, something like that. Okay. 
All right, well, hmm, interesting times. Well, I think you're, you're uh, not going to be on that tile anyway, are you? Uh, no, no, it's more so much whether um, using the next thing is great. It's going to be an interesting race for us to try and work out which is the best typewriter for us to use. I might have to stay in Liquor Town for a little bit so we can get the optimum use out of it. But okay, so I'm going to move one. Right. Uh, sorry, that was, that was my go? That was, yeah, yeah sure my go, go now. wasn't it? Yep, so. Yep, yep. so one into there. Yep. North or uh, south? I, let's go north first. Okay. Use up those, Open the door uh, for two, things. step inside yep. for three. Now that room's going to be empty because the liquor just left it, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, then I'll go into the item room for four. Okay, that's fine. No reactions. No reactions. Tension deck, all clear. Uh, lovely in that room. Now the liquor's uh, not in there. Uh, we do need to lose that Echoes in Darkness token. Good job. That's gone. Right, so for me... Um, man, if I pick up something good, I'm going to have to dump something. Well, how many bullets have you got in your gun? I've got nine bullets in my gun. It's just a little bit of a waste. You can't do a search action without, uh, without, without. You don't have space in your inventory, so you're gonna to have to make a decision now. Um. Well, one, two. I might as well. Because we might, if I don't do that, we might end up leaving the key behind, mightn't we? Yeah, I think that's important. Either that you dump the shotgun shells, but I'm not doing that because you're gonna, we're gonna regret yeah. that way more than yeah, we're okay. gonna regret losing a few bullets. Yeah. Okay. What do I lose? No, nine, so six. So it's only inefficient by two. Right, I'm going to reload yep. uh, in a flagrant waste of two bullets. Fire them into the into the air just to check it's still Yeah, working. like in celebration. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to um, search for my last action. Uh, what do item, we have? Item deck A. <laughs> Lol, handgun bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, on the plus side, that means you can gun down anything now. You're probably feeling pretty good about That's it. That's fair enough. Right. Uh, uh, oh, my God. With an inhuman and scathing screech, a horrific creature drops from the ceiling, blocking the path ahead. Spawn a liquor on the same tile as the active character on the closest thing. It literally has just dropped out of the sky. Why didn't I see yeah. that when I was shooting my gun into the ceiling? Oh, that's probably why. You didn't just shot it twice and disturbed no, it. Oh, you know, why are you doing these things? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, you could use Ada's ability to ignore that, but it's not the worst place for that liquor to drop down and attack us, right? He says optimistically. <laughs> says says old brave Marv, who's inside while I'm out here with the liquor. Man, there's a there is a liquor corpse in the corridor that I left behind. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to use her ability. I think should I use it? You only once per scenario, but that is a pretty hairy place to find the liquor. I will admit. I don't think it's great. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use Ada's um, intrigue. Okay. I'm going to discard that uh, draw yeah, for so attention deck. So, so it just stays there. Just stays there. Yeah. Done. No liquor after all. Yeah. She in, shot fact, up in, the air. She... in fact, I shot in the air and the liquor fell down and I and I kind of went <laughs> and then realised I'd actually accidentally shot it. <laughs> yeah, literally did. <laughs> well done. I mean that that's how that's how Ada does it. Ada, yeah, that's how she rolls. Okay, right. Totally, meanwhile, totally pro. back in uh, Safe Town. Yeah, so let's pick. Well, back in where the liquor used to live. Let's right. pick up one that I made. Picking up a, and you've got some handgun bullets. Handgun bullets uh, for everybody. That's good. Until we realise we really need some keys and stuff. So I'm going to go uh, one, two. Uh, sorry, that's two, one, three, two, and then open the three, door. Three, four, four. To pop open the door. Yeah, sparing a quick look at that corpse to see if it's moving around. Yeah, don't go too close to it in case. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm the still door, there. Yeah. yeah, haven't quite made in yet. I do need to make a roll and evade. Um, sorry, I do need to draw from attention deck card though. You do, and you are all clear. A howl okay. in the distance. Okay. I hope that's not ominous for you then. No. Uh, right, I'm going to um, go one, open the uh, door. You go and find yourself back outside again. Uh... A two, three, four. Oh, it's an amber room, Matt. You've got to roll. <gasps> you wish you could Goodness roll. gracious, it's an amber room. A four on amber. One zombie, one corpse. Okay. One zombie, one corpse went walking. One zombie, one corpse went walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to do them like that, I think. Okay. Cool. Uh, tension deck. Oh, no, reactions. Uh, did you not have any? You had, no, you have other reactions first, Matt. Oh, I've got one, haven't I? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go there. Okay. Uh, let's make sure he doesn't jump up. He doesn't. Yeah. That was it. So one to open the door, two to step two. in, three, three to go there. So four. Yeah. Uh, that then... guy was there. I've already done yep. his reaction. I've already f no. I flipped this over. All clear. I'm all good. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I am now gonna I'm now gonna go in my amber room and see what happens in there. You wanna roll or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Okay, good times. What we got? A four. Uh, our survey says on a four, it says I'm in a corpse. It's on me in a corpse. Oh, I'm running out of corpse. I've run out of corpse markers. I need to paint some more. Right, let's do this guy. Uh, I'm not really dead. I'm not really alive. I'm kind of dead. Yeah. <laughs> sort of having a rethink. Yeah. There's this guy okay. here. Okay, that's not so good. So, um, oh no, I think I think that uh, one of those two should go in the square of the item in it, maybe. Oh yeah, good point. Um, let's put corpse over there. No oh, body laying on the top of the item. Of course, that's the only way you do it, right? All right. So there's also there should be a wall, I think, missing uh, behind where that zombie is. So it's actually lurking behind the wall. So when I step forward, it's going to come out for me. Yeah. So times. Uh, let us, in which case, uh, drop. So where have I gone? I've got one, two, three into oh, the square with the corpse. Here. I must have knocked it off. There you go. There you go. Uh, go one, two into the square with the corpse then. One, so two. That's, uh, so that's my third action. Uh, roll dice, see if I have a corpse to do on me. A four, you do not. And then I'm going to pick up the item for the fourth one. Okay. Uh, and we get to see after we've done that whether, the, uh, whether that corpse is. Oi, heart key. What have we got? Heart, heart key. key. Oh, we can make it. I can get us out of here now. That's a good thing. That is good. It's a bit of a mission. But that's good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, we've got to see if that corpse stands up since I've just picked up an item that it was holding onto. It does not. But okay, its splendid. fingers grip onto uh, it ever so slightly. Yeah, I'm still holding the hand uh, with the key attached to it. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's, um, let's. The zombie's going to react. It's going to wander around the corner, probably into the square with the typewriter in it. Makes sense. Uh, and then we have tension deck card. All clear. Excellent. With my unsleeved card. <laughs> okay. Chronicles Valk is uh, is upset because I'm using unsleeved cards. Oh, okay. I'm a horrendous person. I I write in rule books with pen. He's not joking. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Matt believes margins are for making notes in red pen. Absolutely. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Um, I I think I'm just going to literally come legging it around the corner and try and dodge past this zombie and get out of here. Okay. So one, two, try and dodge uh, for three. And that is going to look successful to me. For three, and then four. Zombie's going to react. And tension is going to happen. Wind scratching. Everything is fine down here. It's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, except for where Marv is. So how many cars do we have in that tension there? Quite a few, right? Yeah, I think we've got 20-odd. Uh, the, the Do you know there's people, the there's people who can actually pick up a deck of cards, standard cards, and they can literally, they've, they've worked it out in, the, in the, to the nearest card. They literally could say, yeah, that's 22 cards. It's amazing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22 cards, yo. Not bad. Not bad. So what do you mean do you not think bad? That... I literally... Literally just picked it up, measured it with my fingers, and then told you yeah. how many cars there were in there. Live on stream. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so what I guess we're asking is we've got 11 activations each to get to a typewriter. Right, so the most likely typewriter is not that one. It's going to be... That one, maybe. That one seems well, wasteful. Oops. Yeah. So realistically, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, the, the issue being that I've got to get round to that with my thing and then get you the key and then actually get all the way into that Where room. The other to, option... Am I going to come in through here? Yeah, but you won't be able to go around that until I can give you the heart key. The other option is I can run over to that typewriter, use it. It's going to be very, very wasteful, but then we can at least make a beeline out, basically. And at that point, we know that we're just running down the clock. How many cards have we discarded so far? What, here? Yeah. Um, 18. Right. I don't know. I just made that up. Okay, good. We'll Let do me that. To tell one. you. One, Is two, it roughly the same? Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. I was two out that time. Okay. So, what do you think? Do you think we want that much time again, or do you think we want to try and risk it? Hmm. Well, look. But I think we're, we're okay looking. to get out of here, aren't we? We've got the wire. We've got the heart yeah. key. So what are we hanging around for? We're trying to find useful stuff, aren't we? Oh yeah, at this point we can start thinking about getting stuff like the um, 
we start thinking about getting really interesting stuff like the uh um word well, sharing we can get the uh advance the custom handgun which is kind of useful yeah and we can also get the red key card which lets us get the smg next, <gasps> next. okay all right let's do that so with that in mind perhaps i won't get that i won't use a typewriter don't use that yet. one let's push for that one okay and then we might have to have some we may we may interestingly fail on stream because of this uh, decision but that's gonna be kind of entertaining okay that's fine. okay so i'm gonna make a beeline out of here then so i'm gonna go uh one two three four and let's go with the new corpse uh one two three four corpse yep. roll so let's make a roll see if that stands up sure Does that's it? not what we needed oh is it still, no it's on the one remember oh, it's on one. Oh, it's on yeah oh, okay sorry you think of the old rule. Uh, uh, so the zombie... Well, no, it used to be on a six, but that's when the symbol yeah. used to be on a six. Yeah, exactly. So the, um, the zombie's going to wander around the corner that I've just left in the, uh, wasting around that room. Uh, like that. Yeah. Ooh, come to get me. Yeah. Just wondering who, where I've gone to. Tension deck. All clear. Bit of a race now. This is interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use the stairs. Okay. And That's a green room you've landed in, so you're all good. For one, for two, mm. yep. kick the door open. For three, check to see what colour room this is. This is an amber room. Tile. Yeah, this is a bad, bad room in any version of the game. Um, uh, where's the spawn markers? There's one there, and there's going to be one in the locked door square. Yeah. Um, I'm going to jump in. Okay. I like the boldness. Yep. All right. Amber room. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. A six would be nice. No. Uh, that sounds like two zombie dogs. Yeah, we might be why there's bodies in there. We had the howling earlier. Yeah. One there. After you left outside, you wouldn't have them in there. So the good news is the reaction. Um, I think you're actually going to have both of them in the same square as you. <laughs> Oh, right. Uh, one, two, one, two. Well done, Matt. Yeah, well good, done. Good job, me. Yeah. Ada's like, oh, yeah, I, be... I opened the wrong door and no mistake. <laughs> well, welcome to the police station. The first thing you do, you walk up the fire escape. You're like, okay, I'm here. I walk straight into this room. The first thing, two zombie dogs just die. Like, why you. have they got dogs in the police station? There's, obviously, they just escaped. They've gone through windows. They're zombie dogs in Resident <laughs> Evil. It's not really a thing, is it? Uh, okay, all I need now is a really, really bad card. Then then I wish I could have kept my intrigue. Oh, I've got no escape as well. Uh, right, so that's going to mean that zombie that I trapped in the other room is going to follow. Uh, actually, no. Oh, no, it's this one here, isn't it? Uh, so that's one, two, and that's one, uh, one, two. You got a choice. Either the zombie that I trapped in the room can jump out. Yeah. Uh, alternatively, the one that you escaped from can follow you up the stairwell. Uh, no, let's have this one jump out. So does he really? jump out here or does he jump out to here? No, no, he jumps out into the door, the first place you put him. Into the corridor. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that because... Um... That's going to cause me all sorts of pain, but I understand the logic of what you're doing. Okay. Oh, that's that a good point. Sense. All right. Because we have to go back through that corridor. Okay, all right. Let's have Disco Dave coming up there then. Oh, Disco Dave. <laughs> all right, over still, to you. Still got, some, still got some headphones playing. Um, I'll work out what I'm going to do, but it might involve a bow gun, I think. I think that's a very sensible plan. Uh, for me, it's a pretty straightforward turn. I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, and end up. I'm going to dance on top of a new corpse. Two, three, four, on a corpse, which is not going to stand up. Yeah, the liquor really did a number on these guys. Uh, right, so now those rooms are connected, so now attention comes. Uh, this guy kind of moves for what it's worth. Oh, of course, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's still... Uh, All clear, wind scratching. Okay. Right, meanwhile... Could be a zombie. Right, I think I'm going to bow gun. Makes sense. And I'm hoping for pushes. Or kills. Kills is good. Kills or pushes would okay. be glorious. Three of them. Right, let's click the old bow gun ammo down. Yep. Uh, down to one. Or drops down by one, I should say. Yeah, down to five. And it... Is it possible? I'm only going to push one dog, aren't I? No, no. The bow gun actually, you can do more. If you get more, affects hits, everyone. Doesn't divide it? them. All right, you can come divide on, baby. Them, so. Come on, baby. Be good. Be good. Yeah. Is that two double kills? No, it's one. It's one double. Um, so one dog, the one dead dog, one dead the dog, one, and the other know, one just gets pushed push. in with Disco Dave, and then gets the Disco, Disco Dave's going to wander over first. He's going to go. What the hell was this? It's a dog. Oh, that's the sound <laughs> of a door slamming. Good luck. 
See you later. <laughs> I'm out. Literally, as you hear the sound of the dog ripping into uh, poor Disco Dave. <laughs> So who actually was he was actually a survivor. He wasn't actually like a zombie. You were just not wearing your glasses. <laughs> no, sorry, Dave. <laughs> you can hear him on the other side. <laughs> so right, it'll be a zombie one, by the time we come back. Three, four, right. No reactions. All clear. Over to you. What what I don't know why he had so much problem with dogs last week. Yeah, obviously that's the thing. All right, so I'm gonna uh, run down this corridor. So I'm gonna go one, two, uh, three, four. I'm gonna be just move forward four basically. One, two, three, four. All yeah. good. Tension deck, Echoes in the Darkness. Oh, that is going to be more of a problem for us. Uh, place Echoes in the Darkness. Oh, yeah, this is a... Yeah, you might need to not... You might need to just run out into this corridor with me if we want to avoid drawing a whole bunch of cards. I don't know if we want to do that with our limited time that we already have. Two, three, four. We'll look on the bright side. I've opened the door for you. So it's only effectively costing one yeah. action. Or it saves an action, so it's only costing three. Better, which is going to be cheaper than trying to deal with things that might spawn yeah. in. So, yeah, let's do yeah. that. So, one, I, I just have a panic. One, two. Wherever you can move diagonally. So, oh. you can just go one. Oh, one. Open the door for two. Into here for three. Yep. Well, it's a wasted action then, anyway, isn't it? I don't need to reload yeah. anything. Uh, so yeah, that's fair. I mean, the other option, I guess the other option is you could move up to me. Oh no, it's not gonna make it's not gonna make too much difference actually. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Do we want the club key up where well, we haven't found the club key yet? Have we? No, not so much. Uh now that's all connected, by the way. After you finish your moves, there's gonna the zombie um in the room that I left long way behind me is gonna sort of follow yeah. the square. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh it's gonna lurch to there. Yep. Uh I'm not in this, so I've avoided echoes in the darkness and the flickering light. Is actually a welcome blink. Okay, over to you, bud. Okay, so let me go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then what I'm going to do is... Oh, Echoes in Darkness is now fortunately gone. Yeah. Uh, you're a bit faster than... You're going to be faster than me, so I'm going to trade you the heart key. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take one of the handgun bullets off you for uh, it. Do you want shotgun shells? Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'll take You've the already handgun got handgun I'll bullets. Take... Yeah, I'll take the shotgun shells, and I'll give you the uh, heart key. Okay. Uh, I don't mind... Do you want the uh, the wire cord as well? Uh, you're going to get into that corridor first because you've got the key, so that makes more sense. Right, in which case, I'll give you handgun bullets as part of the trade. So you're actually pretty tooled up. Okay, that's I mean, me max now, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just thinking... Um... Oh, no, I, I can't take that, Matt, because I, I have a knife, remember? So hang on to the uh, hang on to the handgun bullets because you're going to dump the key as soon as you've used it anyway. Fair so enough. That's fine. Okay. You'll make space that way. Sweet. All right. So that uh, was and then one, we, two... uh, so zombie's going to wander through. That was my last action. So the zombie's going to wander through up top. Yeah. And then we have to draw a tension card. All clear. Fingernail Tremendous. scratching. Okay. Right. So over to me then. Um, yeah. So I've still got six things. So I don't need to worry about that item at the moment. I'll let you worry about that. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, roll, for the, the corpse. roll for the corpse. Is fine. And tension deck is going to be all clear. This guy's going to shuffle along. Bless him. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to follow you into the room. Uh, then I'm going to go straight into the square with the corpse, I One, think. Two, see what the yep. corpse does. The corpse is okay. Uh, I'm going to pick up the item. Okay, let's just quickly roll for the corpse again. Still. Oh, good. sorry. Oh, uh, hang on one second. I've got the same issue as you, haven't I? So Reload uh, the shotty and then pick it up. Yeah, I'll, yeah I'll reload the shotty for that's. So yeah, that's good. okay. So we made the roll for reload the shotgun. Uh, if you can drop my dial up for the appropriate amount. Uh, so where'd I go? I went one, two, three now. to reload. Oh no! Okay, it says uh, no. Five, f uh, five is the five. max for the shotgun. Yep. It goes up to two because if you get the custom shotgun, it gets better. Okay, so you're on five. Yep, and then uh, I'm going to then pick up the item. Which is my fourth action. Which I need to roll for. Yep. Oh, uh, and then... So if any, it's because I went over there and just hanging out happily, uh, picking up items and all sorts of stuff. On Zombies' top of eyes it. flick open. The fly buzzes off to the flickering light above. Yeah. What, the what, I'm, what item did I get though? Is the question. Uh, that is the uh, obviously the most important thing. Green herb. You might need it. I may need it. That that uh, club key may be lost to us. I'm afraid. We'll uh, where else could it be? Oh, it's up on the second floor. Yeah. Oh, do you know why this is? Is because you've jumped. Um, 
we've accidentally jumped a couple of rooms. That's why you should have come up the uh, thing when you did your zombie. When you came up through the thing, we've um, we've been a bit. Oh, too did fast. I come to the wrong stairs? You came from the wrong stairs. I didn't even clock that. I'm sure the chat is sharky, especially if you're jumping on us for that one. Let me just double check. Mm. In the streets. Yeah. Two goes up to two. I jumped on the wrong one. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's retcon that. I don't think we can actually fix it completely. But um, we haven't opened the door yet, so maybe we can. I don't think there's. I didn't interfere with the item. I've ran through. Well, let's just You've take dealt with the zombies. We'll take the burn on the uh, on the tension deck. That's my bad. I should have jumped to here, right? Uh, you should have done, yeah. My bad. My bad. Okay. Well, so you've had how many goes of this? You went through one activation, two, three, four. Wow. So you probably put yourself in that corridor, I think, is a fair statement, outside. Or you'd have had to roll some encounters, I guess. Yeah, no. That's we'll just play it as is, mate. We'll play it as is. Okay. This is going to make this battle a little bit more. I probably need to have that key then, in which case. Okay. Because uh, I kind of trade that with you, and I need my shotgun shells to drop back down again as well. And you need to have your shotgun shells back. All right, fine. We may have killed. We may have killed ourselves. Te technically, uh, tension decked ourselves. Uh, no, I think uh, we'll be fine. Mistake. Look, if we if we if we miss by one or two tension decks, then we might kind of wreck. I'm sure the chat will forgive us for that silly mistake. Yeah. We're so excited about doing it. Well, so the, let's I think see. part of the problem is is because to fit it all on screen, I have to rotate it around. So orthogonally, it's not the same as in the map, which makes it a bit yeah. confusing. But um, yeah, that makes sense. That's on me. Okay. No, fair enough. Uh, cool. So uh, where were we actually at with that? So I had the zombie zombies just popped up. up. So reactions, he's going to try and bite you in the face. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, so I've got one it. dice. And our survey says, when I finish throwing it on the floor, Marva's evaded that one. Lovely. Good job, Marvin. Uh, and and then all clear on, on tension. Tension. Cool. Okay, right. So you, Ada, one, two, three, pick the item up for four. Uh, so you have to go around this wall, remember? You can't did, diagonally yeah. across it. Uh, oh, yeah, so one, two, three. If you one, have four, two, three, pick it up for four. Uh, remember, you've got too many items, so... Uh, do I have to dump these beforehand? Yeah. Interesting. Because we've been playing with Claire and Leon, they normally have a larger capacity. That's the strength of them. You could just ignore the item and leave it there and make a beeline out. We want the club key, do we? We want the club key. We do want that club key. Um... I'm going to dump the handgun bullets. Good choice. I think that's the right answer. That that um, that wire could be invaluable because that means we don't draw tension cards while we're in that last corridor, which is going to be really, really useful. And Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got the club key straight away. Amazing. Okay, that's fine. All right, uh, tension card, all clear. You, over, over here. Right, okay. So I need to... Um, interesting. Let's evade that zombie. So I'm going to make my evade roll. Yeah. Nope, I failed my evade roll. Right. So Armour? So, yeah, uh, yeah, if you can roll, see what happens. A six. Uh, Marvin just does not care, but I do get to push it. I did get to push it at least So after we resolved it. So I would have pushed him away. And then Mars tough eye just doesn't care. Perfect. And then we're going to fail. So that's technically one. And then two to there, three yeah. down one. And then four around the corner, over to there. Listening to this sort of snarling noise that's happening on the opposite side. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we also need to move um, our yellow shirt zombie a couple of squares, I think. He's probably missed a couple of activations, but there we are. Yeah, that's about right. Cool. And um, did I get okay on the card? Yeah, uh, you did okay. All clear. Excellent. All right, okay. All right, so uh, this is... Um... Oh, I should have rolled for this to be an amber room, shouldn't I? Well, we ate a whole bunch of tension cards. Yeah, so that's let's fine. Just, okay. let's just do that. I'm going to ignore that. Right, so uh, one, two, open this door for three... Step inside into a yellow room for four. Let's do it. Yellow room survey says uh, scent of death. Draw two cards from the tension deck. That could be bad. Bad. Could have been a real bad thing. I mean, they're both all clear, but I'm now worried about the amount of cards we have. Yeah, you're going to have to move like the wind, but you haven't got the club key. No, so I can't get into that room. Uh, I think I'm going to have to try and gun down. We could definitely have fun fun use. How many cards have we actually got left in that tension deck? Uh, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine! Right, okay. <laughs> the new skill. I think, okay, I think we can do it. I have optimism. I'm going to open the door. This is going to be some... If we can do this, it's going to be interesting new pro. Wait, what? You're opening the door with a dog and disco Dave? Yeah, because I'm going to need to make a trade-off to you. So let's open that... Oh, you can't carry much stuff, can you? 
Hmm. I think worst case is you make a beeline back to this one to save. I haven't got enough activations to get there. This could take too long. I've got only got five activations or so. What we need to do is we need to get you into that corridor, use the wire cord, and then while you're in there, you're not going to be drawing any cards from the tension deck, which means that we are technically going to be able to... We can almost stop drawing from the tension deck and we can get into there and then draw from that, use the wire cord. So the answer is I can open the door, nuke those two enemies to make the passage really super simple for you. Oh, and then go and open I've got the door. to come down that, these stairs, yeah. haven't I? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to open the door. All right. Open the door. Yeah. Grenade launcher, what's on the opposite side? So if you can drop that down. And I'm going to Grenade roll launcher. And that has got one of them is dead. So let's kill the dog. Obviously. Uh, the zombie's going to move on to me, and the other zombie behind me is going to jump on me, which is not so good. No, he's not because there's a wall there. So he's going to move down. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's what I meant. He's going to lurch out from behind. So that's two. Yeah. Uh, I'm then going to go for some. Risky shotgun play to shoot the zombie in the same square as me. Okay. So he's dead, but then another the other zombie's going to move on top of me. He is. Uh, and then I'm going to hang but free handgun bullets into that guy. Yeah. Full faction. Come on, Marv. He's got a double push, so let's push him back, and I'm going to push him right next to the door. I think. One and two. Yep. Yeah. Right, that's my last action. Zombie's going to lurch closer, so he's going to move diagonally back. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Card. Yep. Is all clear. Right. Right. I think you need to run like the wind to get down here, basically. So uh, I'm going to uh, one, two, roll the yep. dice. Oh, for the love of all things <laughs> holy in the world. Uh, Amazing. It's going to stand up. Yeah. Got to stop making those uh, tough rolls for me. That's the, that's the thing. Uh, so that was one, two. I'm going to try and dodge it. Okay. Or do I just take a bit of pain? Um, I, I, I think you need to move. We need to. We can't waste any squares, Matt. Okay. Run! I do not dodge. That's what I was afraid of. I should have just knifed it and taken the pain, shouldn't I? Uh, same, effectively the same difference, to be fair. Uh, so you get, get to push, to push him it? at least. Yep. And okay. then you can move one away, make a bit of space. Uh, so that's four for there, isn't it? Yep. Then so the zombie's going to follow. React. Tension deck. Uh, prehensile grasp. <laughs> of course it would be Flipping holding you in place it's all gone horribly wrong <laughs> oh, oh those good old days where we thought we were pretty pro um i kind of want to use reckless to kind of try and yeah but you've already done it i haven't used reckless i've used intrigue oh to get your extra activation you mean yeah to get down and uh you're going to skip your next one after that so the best use of it actually is for me to after i've opened the door Okay, fine. All right. Over Let, to you so then. I'll t I'll take my act. I, yes, you're right though. You're you're thinking exactly the same as me. So I'm going to use uh, three bullets in my handgun. I'm guessing I should still have three in there. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to gun down that zombie. Yeah. Two, three, and then yeah, that's that's perfect. Uh, that is going to get a double push on him again. So kick him back through the door this time. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to move into the same square as the zombie for my second action, which I really hope is going to oh. stand up. Please don't. This, this is clutch now. Yeah, no, we're good. Uh, move on to the next one, and then I'm going to use the door, and then I'm going to open the door before, so I've got the key. Park key Splendid. deployed. Can you right, chuck okay. the park key away at the same time? Or? Uh, no, no. That's uh, Oh, actually, no, I could. It's my activation. You can discard it. So, yeah, I'll drop this car, the park key. Don't need it anymore. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right, the zombie's going to stagger back through the door. Okay. And then we have a tension deck card. Blood curdling how? <laughs> <laughs> seriously oh that's ridiculous seriously uh, so they aren't going to appear on my square they are going to appear in the same square as the uh, the uh, as the zombie which is at least good but um, oh that, that could have gone better Matt I'm not going to lie to you <sighs> God. this police officer has come back with like a couple of dogs he's going look what I found <laughs> guys look at this um Right, so reactions. He's going to move one, one, yeah, and then... two, one, two. Yeah, okay. This is going to make life a little bit more interesting. Um, let's uh, let's draw. Uh, admit. So sorry, that was my that no the, the zombies. They they wouldn't move. That was oh, um, right. okay. the reaction. Yeah, they're going to live over there. You did an extra reaction there. That sounds really grim. All right, uh, so cool. Me. Okay, right. It is. You got to make your roll. I have See to make happens. this, otherwise. Yeah, it could get real bad. I'm worried. Yes, 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 yes. So one. Okay. 
Okay. So one to open the door. Yep. Uh, two to step inside. Three. Yep. Four to come down the stairs. He's right. Move so down now there. we. Ha- uh, no, he won't move because he's not connected. But the dogs and the other guy will. One, two. One, two, one. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. Right. That's so, fine. And um, now tension card. It cannot clear. be bad. That'd be really good. How many tension cards do we have left, Matt? Uh, we've got five plus a fluffy two if we need them. All right. Okay. Well, I think that's not too bad. I mean, you don't need to do your double activation just yet. Okay. How many? What do I have shotgun shells wise and grenade launcher rounds? Uh, shotgun three, buzz? grenade launcher four, handgun ten. Right. I think there's a. I think a grenade launcher into those dogs is the right answer here. Yeah. I agree. Okay, let's do that then. Cool. So, um, three of these dice. Kill them both. One hopes. Uh, okay, so I've got two dogs in the same square as me, um, and <laughs> there's a zo- and the zombie has lurched closer. <laughs> oh my goodness! That couldn't have been worse. Uh, was that the grenade launcher? Yeah, right. this grenade launcher isn't a grenade launcher. Marv literally just looks at it as it fired out confetti or something. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah welcome to your first day leon like yeah he's accidentally got like the confetti cannon instead of the grenade launcher oh yeah okay. uh one two three four yellow zombies got a frozen on a mission, mission, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was oh that was yeah oh yeah speaking of which he probably actually probably is a couple more squares it might um, be alex been... said for i'll give him an extra one for luck there you go yeah but i just fired the gun so that probably moves him another one as a reaction okay uh wow that just seems like such a not worry about that zombie at the time oh that was grim all right uh i'm gonna use another grenade round gonna have um, to. i'm gonna have to i was hoping not to waste all of these before we go into the next scenario but there we are right one of them is dead hooray uh the other one is just gonna look at me and then the zombie is gonna shuffle closer okay uh switch to hangar yeah switch to hangar at this point okay. so free into the dog makes sense uh, the dog is dead, which is encouraging, but cool. that zombie is now on top of me. There we go. Oh, God, this has been so a So it's one grenade, two grenade, three handguns. So you've got shooting again. Yeah. Uh, how many handgun bullets have I got left? Seven. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's do... Let's do three. Uh, sure. Please be good. i got to push. Let's push him into that corridor, I think. Oh, he's going to move on. To, yeah, he's going to move on to me in a second anyway. So now it's move. Uh, now it's a reaction phase. He's going to jump on me. Yeah. Uh, there should be another two moves for that uh, yellow. Sh- in fact, three moves for the yellow shirt zombie. We've done three gunshots. God, who would have thought they would have made it all the way around? <laughs> I know, a legend. Uh, and then I've got attention card draw. Okay. Persisting unease. <laughs> um... Oh, Matt, it's so bad. It's so bad. That effectively reset the room that I'm currently into yellow. Shadows <laughs> spill from each corridor, stretching over the floor and dancing in the flickering light. This is no safe place. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> this is the most horrible room ever. Right. right, so when you come in here, when you come in here, yeah, you're going to trigger a yellow room. Okay, no, I don't think don't, it matters. Don't, don't, don't roll the umbrella and you'll be fine. Right. Right, my go. Yeah. This is possibly the most worst end ever to this. One. Yep. Two into here. I'm going to have to roll. Please don't roll umbrella. Please don't roll umbrella. Three. Okay, fine. Uh, One zombie. Uh, That zombie is going to appear in the square with the corpse. Oh, no, no. Where is the closest thing? It's where you're standing. Uh, It can't appear where I'm standing, so it's going to appear by the door. It's that that zombie that we had before. It's just turned up again. Okay. Uh, They are literally just breaking in through the windows and coming to get us into this area. This is why the police station isn't safe, Matt. It's clearly not secure right. in any way, shape, or form. I mean, let's get into the sewers. It's clearly safer than the police yeah. station. Right, I've yeah, lost, no lights or anything. I've lost count. Where was I? Um, yeah. One, two. You've got two more after this. I've got two so more. You can move, so you can move on to the cops. Oh, you've lost the persisting unease token. Um, so I think you just need to make a beeline for the uh, for where I am. Don't worry right. about me getting beaten. That's so I'm going to run into here. Yep. It's fine. I'm going to run into here. Right, so now reaction phase. That zombie's going to try and bite you. Yes. And I am going to dodge it. Cool. And then the other zombie uh, is going to come closer diagonally. Uh, and then a yellow shirt is finally going to enter the room. He's like, hey, you guys! <laughs> I made it! <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, and then, yeah. 
All clear. Hey! Splendid. Somewhere in the right, darkness, okay. fingernails sound delightful. Right, so I think you'll want to... I think you're going to want to uh, take your reckless activation here so you can jump in there and use that wire cord. Okay. So uh, in that way, you're not going to have to worry about it. Uh, save me having to wait, take care of it. Either that or I can... All right, yeah, yeah no, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to... I am going to do that. So I need to... Uh... Make an evade. Do I evade or do I just knife... No, it's, it's better to evade. Yeah. It's better to move. Right, I'm going to evade. I do, with style and grace. It's tremendous. Right, Huzzah. that's a yellow... That's a amber room. Good times. Right, but I can use my wire cord. No, no not, not yet. You need to make an amber room. It's the one, the square in front of you is where you need to be to use it. Right, okay. So amber room, please don't be umbrella. I'll roll it in the dice tray. Four, same thing. Definitely a four. Uh, one zombie and one corpse. Okay, fine. Right, so I'll tell you what you can do. If you are on the... Uh... Right, so yeah, if you go into the square, the square directly in front of you, yeah. Uh, you can use that wire cord to secure the room, which means at that point, um, we do not have to draw a card during the tension phase. I'm doing that 100%. So I'm going to step in. Yep. See if the corpse is going to do anything. It does. Tremendous. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How is this even possible? <laughs> um, okay. Right, so, so that's uh, one, two. One, got... two. I'm going to definitely put the wire cord down, even if it that means... Does mean, that does mean you need to do a, a evade roll, because you're using an item one to scan as an enemy. Or do I just try and... You could get rid of that zombie first, if you wanted to. <sighs> All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's throw three bullets into it. I think. Okay. You need to go down, zombie. Save that, or should I just bow gun it? No. Three, three bullets. Three. Three bullets. Yes, I've got the push. That's fine. That is fine. I'm happy with that. I'll push him that way. Not okay. That it matters. Now, so right, just quickly, the other, yeah, so the other zombies are going to react in my tile, the tile okay. of death. Okay. Uh, so, no, in my tile, yeah, yeah, not that guy won't do anything, but the uh, yellow shirt will move, and then the other guy will move as well. Yep. Okay. And this one's going to try and bite you. No, no, it's only move reactions. All so right, it's fine. fine. You've got one action fine. left. One action strongly... left. Get the wire cord down. Yeah, wire cord is now spent. That means we do not have to draw cards from the tension deck while we're on that while we're on that tile. Okay. Right. So no tension. Uh, right. So reaction phase. Uh, zombie in my square is going to try and bite me. Yes, he is. Uh, which I'm fantastically going to roll off. I failed that one. So let's push him one square. And I will roll your armor value. Please do. And survey says six. <laughs> Mark just doesn't care at all. <laughs> uh, you still get to push the zombie, but Marvin is just getting bitten to anything and just doesn't care. Okay. Uh, the other zombies are going to react and move closer. Why are they going to react? You that was the zombie just attacking re- you. Yeah, but it's reaction phase. Remember, so they're going to have their own movement reactions. Uh, so this one's going to step on me. Uh, yep, because step- you're the active character. Yep. Yeah, and then and then the other one, the yellow shirt's gonna almost catch up and go, "Hey, man, remember me?" And then this guy's gonna come down. Yeah, that's exactly it. Okay, uh, right. And you don't have to draw from the tension deck. Don't have to draw from the tension deck. Vic is wondering why the uh, why the flaming zombie didn't um, react to me shooting. Uh, because you didn't do it. I because we should have moved him. I should have moved him. So he's like that. Fine. Yes. No tension deck for me. Over to you, Good Marv. Traffic. Come on in here. The water's fine. I should, I should, I should take a moment and go... <sighs> it's, <laughs> my God. The, the last little bit has been quite a sprint. Right. I am going to very casually, very easily, with as much calm as I can, walk into the same corridor as you and shut that door. Shut that I... door. Okay. You're going to have to evade, though. Because uh, you're... There's, oh, no. That zombie's on me. Yeah, so it's dived on you, fine. didn't it? So. Right. Uh, I think I'm going to reload my gun at that point. So it looks like I still have some handgun bullets. You do? In that. Yep, so I'm going to reload. All right, so you get an extra That's my eight, third action. Eight bullets takes you up to 12. Right, and then I'm going to spend two of those bullets to shoot that, that zombie that's in the same square as you. Sweet. Because you're looking a bit being up here. Yep. Uh, so I have rolled a uh, push, which you can at least push it off of you. And then the other zombie is going to walk. He's going to walk in now. That's which fine. Is good. Right, reaction phase. Uh, those two zombies are both going to move onto your square. Hooray! I'm going to take this wire cord off. We know it's there. Don't yeah, we? we we know it's there now. It's okay. all good. Uh, and then no tension deck. No tension deck. Secure. 
Right. Ada is going to um, bowgun. Okay. I think. How many bowgun belts have you got? I've got four left, so I've actually been quite frugal with them. Yeah, that makes sense. Three is the sweet spot if we can get to if yeah. can use one more. And then yeah, I've got it. one more after this. Um, hopefully I'll blow up both of these. Uh, no, triple dodge. Spectacular. So you get to push one of them. Yeah. You might as well chuck it on me, I think, because that just makes life a bit easier for you. Yeah. And then you get bitten. I'll right, take one damage. I'm now on, um, halfway between caution and danger. That's not cool. I mean, you could just run off and leave me to take care of this. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and dodge for two. Okay. Which I do. Two, three, four. Reaction phase. He's going to jump on you. Uh, well, the first one, yeah, oh. we'll do the dodge. I'll do the dodge first before okay. we move on. I failed that dodge, so I'm going to push him off. Effectively, the zombies stay where they are. I right. push one off, oh, and then so the other one moves. Failed. You take oh, damage. one damage. i finally taken damage. Okay. Marvin, having been bitten to pieces, right. finally no starts paying attention. Right, so I think I am going to try and. One, two, to open the door. Joel, we've also managed to forget you double activated, didn't you? Did you double activate? Uh, I think I said I was going to. Did I forget to skip a go then? Uh, I killed all the zombies. I don't think we needed your double activation, do we? If we did, we should have skipped your next turn. So we can probably skip your next one and give Marvin a double activation. Sure that's do that. Make that up yeah, yeah, do that. Because we're currently playing so much adrenaline, we managed to miss our rules. Which is spectacular. Um, cool. All right. Well, in which case, I am going to the chat will know. So I am going to try and shoot zombies. I think I'm going to spend three bullets to shoot the zombie in the same square as me. Yes. Try and finish that guy off. Takes you down that's to make seven. Life, make my life much easier and kill it, which I did. With a double push and a kill. So technically, it staggers off into the distance and does it. The other one's going to jump into my square. Yes. I'm going to try and dodge past that now. Okay. Which I have failed. So uh -oh. push it off and take I'm possibly safe. one damage. No, uh, you failed. Mm, okay. Well, at least so he gets pushed him off, off away from it. Yeah, I'll push him off. Right, so that's that's not too bad, though. So that's two. I'm going to move into the same square as him for three. Yeah. And then I'm going to try and move past him again for another dodge, which I succeeded this time for All four. Right. Reactions, right. he's going to follow yep. you. No tension uh, in here. Right, so if we do, if we skip your next go, in case you did double activate, yeah, that's, that's the fine. fairest yeah, thing yeah, to do. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, so let's double tap this guy. Uh, sorry, no, triple tap that. Let's use three bullets. Can you drop me down? I can. And uh, depending on where you are in the world, Ahmed, uh, I know Amazon has it and they're still delivering. So if you do want to pick it up, Amazon has pretty much everything in stock, as far as I know. Mm. Uh, I've pushed him three times, which means he's going to hit that door and then not everyone else to go. Bang, 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 up against the door, yo. Uh, then I'm going to go one, two into your square, and then three just outside the club door, I think. Cool. Press X and discover it's locked. Click, Q, click, lock click. Door right, don't worry, I've got the club key. Yeah, okay, so zombie reacts, staggers back. Doosh. Yellow and shirt's you. gutted, look at him. He's like, mate, I've got all the way from here to here, and now you've yeah. shut the door on me. What yeah. the actual... F is going on. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, one, two, we open the door. Yep. So that's an amber room. We could probably lose that locked door card, to be fair. Save a little bit of spam in the on board. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, so two to open the door. Do I... Uh, I can... Yeah, I could take those shotgun shells. To yeah, start I'm going to pass you the shotgun helpful. shells. Yeah. Do you want that green herb? For three, I will take that green herb. I might actually use it straight away for four. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, which increases me by one. Lovely. Up to caution. That's my go. We're still in the safe room because of the wire trap. The uh, zombie's going to move, though. Okay. Right. Right. So you've, you've still got the wire cord, right? Yeah. So... I... How many bullets do I have? Uh, you've got two grenade, three shotgun, four handgun. Uh, well, let's reload the shotgun to start with. So that's going to put it on to five, I think. Two handgun, you say? Sorry, which one are you loading? Shotgun. 
Yeah, shotgun. And I have two handgun, you say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, four Let's... handgun, five shotgun, two grenade launcher. Yeah, I don't, that grenade launcher I definitely don't want to use because you need to save that. For the you've next used scenario. those shotgun shells now. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really want to use either of my special weapons. So let's step into that room, see what's in there for us both. It's For probably the logical answer. Fortune favours the brave. It yep, is... Roll, you roll, Matt. See what happens. An amber room. Please do not roll anything really bad because... Yeah, two is bad. Two zombies and snatching talons. Active character must pass an evade roll or their action phase ends immediately. This is a bit grim. So let's see. Uh, okay. My action phase ended immediately because I'm off and I've, that one dice isn't so good. Uh, that means the zombie is going to react and move towards me. So I'm going to have a zombie standing on top of me. Yeah. And then the other one in the corridor is going to want... Yeah, that guy's going to wander out to there. And then that guy's going to wander over there. I now have to draw a card from attention deck as well. Okay. It's all clear. safe in here. Cool. Right, over to you, Matt. Right, so I'm going to step in for one. Yep. I'm going to slam the door shut for two. Uh, you got an evade roll because you got a zombie in that square first. Uh, well, it's part of the slamming the door shut, right? Yeah, you, this is it if you have to make an evade roll because you're shutting the door. I make it. So door slam so shut shuts. for two. I'm now going to try and step out of that square for three. And do. And for four, I am going to slam the old ink ribbon in the typewriter. Okay, let's reset the deck. So that's no longer a threat now. My God, that okay. was grim. Okay, so I managed to not kill us that way. Yeah, we're not decked. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, Marv is now going to get a bit bitten up, I think, I fear. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Marvin's good. All right, sweet. I made my evade roll, but that zombie's going to lurk around the uh, lurch around the corner. Like that. And this yep. guy's not going to move. Everything else yep. is fine. I'm going to pop... And the tension deck the says... Deck. Howl in the distance. Oh, please don't be a howl in the <laughs> distance. Right, come on then, yeah, Marv. Let's deal with this, and then we can uh, find, hopefully, the... Right, custom uh, let's do three bullets. Three of those bullets. That is one very dead zombie. Two pushes and a and a kill. He's staggered off into the distance. Yo, get the dead, other zombie. The other zombie's going to lurk, lurk around the corner. Yeah. I have a single bullet left. Pop uh, in. No, let's, let's move into the square with the bi item and see if I can pick that up first. So I'm going to move down. Yeah. Uh, and then press that, pick that up for two. Uh, sorry, for three, I should say. You get what have I found, Matt? Custom handgun parts. Amazing. Right, okay. That seems pretty good. Uh, right. So, got one action left. I might as well try and shoot that. I, I might as well knife that zombie since I'm standing next to it. So, I uh, know the zombie's moved into the same square as me. Lucy gets out of the way for you. Okay. Right. Uh, reaction phase. I'll make a raid roll. All right. Which Sorry. I have. Worried. Which I have made. I think the stream started a bit there. There is something wonky going on with the old tinternet today. But uh, okay. All good. Right. So catch everyone up. You found custom hand parts, and the zombie has lurched into you and evaded. And yeah, all good. So uh, and now I have to draw from tension deck. It is prehensile grasp. Of course it is. Okay, so drop that token next to me. Okay. God. I mean, it could well be the zombie I'm fighting, to be fair. Over right. to you. Me to go. So one, two, three, four. Roll for the uh, the corpse. Of course it stands up. <laughs> Literally, of course. I don't even know why I bothered to roll... I should have just, I don't know, put my neck in the corpse's mouth. Right. Uh, that was your full faction, right? Yes, it was. Yay, so you get to make an evade roll, and I, so do I. I'll leave you to yours, but I do mine. I okay. make my evade roll. I do not make mine. So I get to push the zombie. I'm going to push it uh, diagonally away. You take point of damage because you failed your thing. Oh, poor Marvin. You can't make it all this way and then die. That's just too, too mean. Noble sacrifice, yo. Yeah, no, we don't want Marvin to die, though. Mom is a hero. Okay, so right. uh, where are we? Uh, so, you'll go. Uh, you got attention deck card, right? Uh, that was prehensile grass, wasn't it? No, no, that's my one. Expecting me. <laughs> Blood curdling how? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Oh man, it's so bad. One there, one there. What the, how is that hiding there? Yeah, are, are, are they not both on the same closest on the same square? Was it? Uh, on the same tile was the active player on the closest thing. All oh, right, I've got but, a choice. So they're both. No, no, they're both. The closest is going to be in the same square as the iron, because that's technically closer. Because it's because uh, okay. it's going to go around a wall. 
Okay, say hello to my little friend. Uh, All right. Um, well, Matt, this has just gone horribly, horribly wrong. It's your go, mate. Right, um, well, I need to make an evade roll, otherwise I'm not going to get a go. No, I've made evaded. My prehensile grasp cool. worked. Can I recommend a grenade launcher? Uh, can you recommend a grenade launcher? You could recommend a grenade launcher. Um, but I want to save that for the next scenario. Uh, <laughs> Right, okay, so I can actually leave this area if I want. I can go one, two to open the door, three, and I actually can get out, and that's going to mean there's makes life nice and simple for you in terms of reactions. So that's what I'm going to do. Marvin is going to... Oh, one, two, one, open three, the door for two, two, three, two. shut the door for four. Uh, no, no, then just move on to the... Um, leave the door open. Why would you do that? If you oh, shut, no, actually, no, no, it's okay. The door, uh, then these guys yeah, no, don't that, do anything, do they? Well, no, because if I'm placed in the in that bloody spot in the one step onwards, then I get removed from the board. But actually, that's better because that means that you don't have to worry about that zombie looking up, lurching up the corridor after you. So yeah, I'll shut the door for four. Yeah. Uh, the zombie's going to react and come towards me. Yeah. And then we need to draw a cover from tension deck. Uh, no, we don't, because you're in the wiretap room. Oh, good point. Yeah. In which case, over to you. Hmm. What else is in the B deck that's interesting? There's a first aid spray and there's a red key card. Oh man, I want that red key card. How many bow guns have you got? I've got four. My suggestion would be uh, dodge into the square with the dogs and then try and bow gun maybe, or maybe just try and pick it up and see if you can just do that way. It's going to be a bit costly on your health doing it that way. I've only got, I've, I'm on caution already. Mm. This is a bit grim. I mean, I think the greed for the red key might kill me. Possible. Uh, if you can get... I mean, the red key gets us the SMG, which is super useful. And, but it also might get us first aid spray. That's also useful. I mean, they're both well worth it, aren't they? If you can make it. I mean, what if I dodged out and then grenaded the... Um... We haven't got a grenade, but bow gunned. Oh, the bow yeah, that's, gunned that's not a terrible shot. the dogs. Yeah, that's not a terrible shot. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's try. Uh, I'm going to try and evade out for one. Yeah, that evade should be quite easy on paper. It is. Cool. One. I'm going to okay. bow gun mm. the dogs, the I think. Yeah. And that takes me down to three on the bow gun. Right. Two dead right. dogs, and, and everything changes. No dead dogs, and no right, shooting tags. So the good news is you now have a square with all three enemies in there in there with you. I can't believe that. This bow gun has not done anything for me all game. So <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's uh it's no 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 other choice this where I'm gonna bow gun straight onto the floor at my feet. Yeah, or remember to say one bolt at least for yourself. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, dodge for one, shoot for two. This is for three. three. Oh, this guy moves as well, doesn't he? Yes. Um, right. I've got one, one double hit out of that. So one one, one dog, dog is dead. dead. I'm guessing you're shooting a dog. The good news is the zombie who just came to see you has now jumped on you again. This is fine. And by fine, I mean absolutely rubbish. Um, well. I'm going to have to bow gun again. Yep. I'm going to be really annoyed if all we end up with is a first aid spray, however brilliant they are. Right. Three hits. Three hits. Three hits. Three hits. Three hits. Three hits. Yeah! You might have to hold that tray up to the audience if you actually just did something really spectacular there. What? Did you literally roll three hits? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's utterly amazing. Uh, oh no, with the bow gun, they only count as pushes, they don't count as wounds. Oh, oh sorry, I thought you did three double hits. I was no. very impressed, but you okay. could get three. I've got to rethink my strategy now. Well, you could push one of them, so you could push one of them two and then one of them one. You could push one of them three times, or you could push all of them once. Pushing all of them once doesn't make any difference, so they're just going to jump back on you in the, in the other phase. But you could break them up a little bit, push one right away into the corner, and then you only got two to deal with. Yeah. Uh, and not pushing a dog, so I might as well push that guy up there. No, push him into the room behind you. It makes sense because then, yeah. Well, you might be able That's... to step in and do some stuff now. 
Well, I'm more thinking I can get out and then that makes life much easier because you're the one who needs to dodge and stuff. Like, I'm not that great at doing that and I'm a bit more to death anyway. Um, Plus, we need to, we seriously need to save weapons for the next one because the next, the next scenario has got the boss fight in it. All right, let's push that guy out to there then. Okay. So technically you've done, um, so what have you done there? You've got, you've done a trip, you've already got three pushes, remember? So you pushed the zombie into the corner. I pushed one, two, and the other one, one. Uh, he was in the same square as you, wasn't he? Yeah. So that's three if he goes there. It's two if he goes next to the door. But then you've got a reaction phase to the others. The, the zombie's going to move in with you. Oh, I see. You're making your evade easier. Got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. So a reaction phase. So you've got an evade from the dog first. Yeah. Mate, my dice have been horrendous this game. Right. Dodge the dog. dog. Right, this cool. So this guy's going to move in, and then the other guy's going to go closer here. Okay. And then you've got a tension deck card. Which is all clear. Flickering light. Right. So I can jump in this room and then use the shotgun, I guess, to try and clear out some space. Let's do that. So I'm going to open the door. For one. Yep, jump in like a uh, Marvin the Avenger. Yo. Uh, shut the... Yeah, that's that's probably the noise I do when I come in. Yo! Like that, <laughs> looking for a high <laughs> five. Uh, so that's two. Shut the door for three. Yeah. And then I'm going to turn the shotgun on uh, probably the dog in the same square as you. Okay. Uh, which is no longer there now. Oh, thank goodness. Right. Uh, reaction phase, though. Uh, the zombie's going to jump onto me, and then you need to make an evade roll. Right. Which I make. And then the tension deck card. And if this is a lick at this point, I'm just leaving the room done. Uh, it's all clear. Uh, oh, no, it's a howl in the distance, though. We know what that means. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Right, well, look, I have wasted a bucket load of resources, so I'm definitely going to go and get this first aid spray. Yeah, uh, and then so... realised that you would have got it anyway if we'd finished. Yeah, <sighs> we, I'm secretly trying to psych the game into giving me the red key card because it thinks oh, I, I want the first aid spray when, in fact, I want the red key card. Oh, I see. That, that's science, that is. Right. All right, let's do it. Psychology, yo. Um, yeah. You're going to out-psych the game. Do you know the way that neither of us upgrade? I didn't upgrade the handgun yet, by the way, which I sure really could have done is that earlier on. Yeah. Could have done that on the corridor. I could have done that in the corridor. That's that's a that's a thing to do by the end of the scenario. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's do it. All right. So do I do I just shoot this thing with my handgun? I might as well. How many bullets you got? I got twelve. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. Yeah, so just can, blam, blam, blam. I can stick nine into this. Uh, sorry, three into it and take it down to nine. Yep. Come on, I'm I'm deserve I deserve a good roll. Yes. 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 Okay. Right, that zombie's dead, right? Yep. So you could shoot the zombie on me now as well to make life much easier. Okay. Let's do that. Because if you can... Yeah, at least that will save me in a fade roll to start with. All right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, dead zombie. Amazing. Right. That's two, three, four. Drag attention card. All clear. Over to you, Marv. Right. Let's, let's change my gun into a custom handgun. What? Badass. That's cool. I haven't got the card out, though. No, it's okay. I'm not going to make any more attacks anyway. I'm going to leave now. So that's one. Uh, open the door for two. Yeah. Step through for three. three. How many shotgun shells have I got quickly before I get put there? Uh, you've got four. Right, so I'm going to I'm gonna reload the shotgun anyway, so I might as well shotgun that zombie there. So that zombie tradition fantastically jumps on me because I just missed with the shotgun. Spectacular style. Good job, yo. Yeah, awesome work, Mark. Uh, that was four, wasn't it? So yeah. my last action, in which case, I'm now gonna, sorry, my thing, I'm going to make a evade roll in the reaction phase, which I've done. Nice. Oh, Happy gosh. days. And you're in the wire room, so there's no tension there. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I am going to, for one, pick up the B item. Right. What do you reckon? Red key card. I'm going to say first aid spray. Or first aid spray. What does the, what does the chat think? Yeah! <laughs> it doesn't yeah! matter. It's a red key card. <laughs> Red key card. Worth that it. Was, Everything was now worth it. That's so many tension deck cards and so many resources we've wasted <laughs> trying to get that thing. One, two, three, four. Um, evade roll for me. Evade roll for you. I have failed. Uh, so I'm going to push that zombie away. Okay, and uh, okay. I'm going to see if you take any... Six! Oh, Marv just <laughs> doesn't care. Marv's like, don't worry, I've got this. Yeah, literally covered him. He's like literally got. He's like one of the uh, the guys they said in the dog handling thing, where they were not the big best. <laughs> right, I got tension deck in this room. It is all clear. Right, Marv. 
uh, I just move into the square up one and I disappear off the board. Back up, I'm blonk, 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 yep, down into I'm the gone. sewer through the secret yep. door. Uh, uh, yep. That's all done. I'm going to run out the door. One, two, three. Oh, no, because this thing's going to not react, is it? No, because yeah, no, I'm off the board. So, so one, two, three, I'm out as well. And cool. we made it. All right, so sorry to the chat for the um, for us managing to forget the uh, the stair order incorrectly. That was my fault. I uh, I got confused and looked at the wrong number. Yeah. Uh, I think I don't. We didn't fudge it. If anything, I think we put additional pressure on ourselves. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so I think that was a reason. Effect, eff legit. Effectively, effectively, what we did is we suffered the really, really brutal. Um, result on the uh, on the encounter table which meant that you lost like 10 cards from tension oh, that, was, that was horrendous i didn't think we we're going to make it that wire cord made all the difference yeah do we still keep it yeah we still keep it don't that, we? uh you discard it you've just used it so it's gone now but we haven't got another use for it anyway you use it again in the b files so oh, okay. it's fine. fine um so the red key card we get to carry on with us next game uh we can get into the armory Right. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the choices um, purely because let's pretend for a little while that you're not gonna take the most obvious one to you. You can either take the backpack, which gives you an extra two slots for holding stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Or you can take the submachine gun. Right. Like I mean, like there's a choice there, or, or not? <laughs> um... Not for you. <laughs> not for you. I would look at the fact we both ran out of slots to carry stuff in this scenario. And that, yeah, that's much more useful. And then there's you going, yeah, but I get a submachine gun. Put your, put your, put your, firing it into the sky. Ada's only in this for a submachine gun. I mean, the submachine gun's pretty cool. You get, like, I think, I have to double check, but if memory serves, you get two red dice and two blue dice when you're firing it. So. Yeah, that seems good. That it's seems pretty good. good. Yeah. All right, great. So next mission is going to be 5A Escape from RPD. It's going to be a long one, that. That's the, uh, that's the first boss fight one. Where we get to fight the G mutant. Oh my goodness, that's a massive map. I'm gonna to have to try and work out how I'm gonna fit that in. Uh, you might be able to duck it down a little bit. Um, it sort of slots together a bit, so I think you might be all right. But um, anyway, I'm quick look in the chat, uh, see what people are saying. Yeah. Um, and see where we get to. So let's uh, just quickly move up. Uh, I did see a few people talking about contrast paint. So yeah, have a little look on the Steamforge channel. I painted. Uh, 17 zombies in an hour and a half using contrast paints and uh, they came up pretty pretty good. Uh, okay. Just with contrast and a bit of dry brushing, they look fantastic. So uh, definitely have a little look at the contrast paints and get your guys painted up as well. So I've just got as far as the, the part, I'm just looking at this chat now, it's quite a long way up actually, just looking at where everyone's complaining about your, where uh, one of us is complaining about your unsleeved cards. <laughs> yes. Let's have a quick look. Uh, apparently, apparently they need you in Vegas, Matt. Um, with your dice rolls, I don't think. I think no, Vegas no, that was needs my you. card counting ability. Were you not? I can't believe you weren't impressed by that. I was very impressed by that. I'm just. Uh, I just stress with your dice rolling ability. Vegas needs you. I don't know. You need Vegas. Uh, yeah. Stay away from craps. Uh, play play cards. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, uh, do contrast so... paints work on normal primer? They do work on normal primer. In theory, depends on what primer you use. So the GW primer, Games Workshop primer they recommend, has a little bit of sealant in it, which basically gives it a bit of a smooth surface. So if you're all, if you're using a normal car body primer or like just a standard primer, you probably want to give it a quick spray with a satin varnish. So Games Workshop do one called Purity Seal, or no, it's called Retributor Armor now, I think. But yeah, yeah a satin right. varnish, give them a light spray with that. And what that will do is smooth the surface out, uh, which means that the contrast paints will run into the crevices like they're supposed to. Uh, so just a couple of things from the questions. Uh, so firstly, um, thank you very much, Cecil, uh, who's going to go and check out the Resident Evil 3 Kickstarter. So thank you very much for that. Um, awesome. Uh, Sharky raises a very valid point, uh, which I think is that uh, 3D stairs would make our life slightly easier and not let us get them mixed up. Um, I can't help but echo that sound, uh, that's, uh, echo that voice. I absolutely agree. They absolutely will. Uh, but I didn't say that, of course. No. Um, not in the slightest. Our worst kept secret. Worst kept secret um, in the world. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Peter, we won't have Dino Crisis Duel um, in, as, a, uh, as a stretch goal or an add-on or anything for Resident Evil 3. Not for this project. Not for this project. Um, but it's really interesting how many people want us to make a Dino Crisis game, right? Well, me included, mate. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, both of us. That's mm-hmm. a fairly good sign, right? Let's do that. Yeah, we should totally do that. So let's have a quick look. Uh, welcome, Dried Moss. Hope you enjoyed the game. It's one of our uh, RE3 backers. Let's have a quick look. Uh, where else do we get to? Da, 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 da. Marvin is just role playing, apparently, that he just can take everything. He was taking uh, everything, he was tanking a lot. Yeah, Marvin really doesn't care. Either that or he is literally just walking like he's he's almost dead anyway, so just no bites whatsoever. Uh yeah, so we did we did um we did uh, miss the double activation. So we did. I sorry I guys. Sorry guys. Thought I used it. Yeah, so I think we fixed it. Um so that's that. Uh yeah, I saw the thing about Ahmed, so we're back to there. Just quickly having a look. Da, 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 working down. Cool. So, I mean, that's pretty much looks fairly good. Um, yep. Happy days. All right. Well, look, thank you ever so much for joining us on a Saturday afternoon. We're going to um, take, I think, uh, take a few hours of well-earned rest, I would say, show. And you've been cranking it in the comments on the uh, on the, on the the Kickstarter. Uh, yeah, I've got a, um, yeah. Everyone I've, seems I've super it. happy on, on there. So that's It's brilliant. been awesome. Yeah, I've, I just, yeah, I really should say the Resident Evil 3 comments is amazing. Like, we've got such an amazing community feel uh, going on for the game right now. And uh, for Resident Evil 2 as well, of course. But it just feels so awesome. Like, everyone is coming together and we're celebrating. It's like basically a 15 day long party, which is really, really cool. Yeah. So, so um, more of that tomorrow, I expect. And then, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll play this again next Saturday. What we might do is maybe try and do a bit of a double header, maybe. Yeah, that'd be cool. See if we can't have a, like, a bit of a longer party um, and try and get get through the oh. boss fight and then into the uh, into the sewer through the sewers. Well, well, technically, actually, if we do it this way, then we can um, we would play the giant alligator scenario. I don't know if you've got the alligator there. Oh, Why? Well, yes, I do. And maybe I could paint that bad boy up. Ugh, we could do the uh, well. That's where we have a double boss fight for, um, game. So we do escape from RPD and then the alligator fight. Pretty much. All right, let's do that. Same time, ish. Maybe fifteen minutes earlier next week. Yeah. As long and, as OBS uh, doesn't kind of mess with me again. Yeah. If we are late, apologies in advance. Uh, that's apparently our look. <laughs> cool. Right. I'm going to hit stop uh, stream. And uh, so, uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us, everybody. And stay safe. We'll catch you next week. Awesome. Thanks, guys.